Spring draft for military service in Russia continues. Will young people be sent to fight in Ukraine? Russia's annual spring draft began on April 1 when President Vladimir Putin signed a decree ordering the enrollment of 147,000 men for mandatory military service. This is about 8% more on average than in previous years. For example, in the spring of 2022, this number was 134,500. This year's spring draft is accompanied by a marketing campaign in hopes of recruiting more young men and convincing them to serve in the military on a contract basis. According to Bloomberg News Agency, the Russian army aims recruit around 400,000 new contract soldiers sent at war against Ukraine. However, the Russian Ministry of Defense denied rumors and reports that the country is planning a new mobilization. Head of the main organization and mobilization department of the General Staff Vladimir Tsimolinsky said, Our General Staff is not planning a second mobilization wave. The number of those who are currently recruited and volunteered for special operations is sufficient. Russian Armed Forces Within Russia, the country's invasion of Ukraine can only be called a special military operation. Marketing for the military Sergei Chernyshov, director of a higher education institute in Novosibirsk, said that the school was asked to military careers among its students with promotional materials sent by local authorities. Chernyshov later posted a pamphlet on social media praising the so-called advantages young people would have if they promised to serve in the Russian army. Flyers are used to post in the Russian army to recruit more men Kirill Dyuktov D.W. Chernyshov did not disdain his words about the recruitment campaign. I think government officials chose the wrong audience for this marketing campaign because students only have to enlist in the military later on. It's insane to ask them to quit their education and join the military. Are they looking for complete idiots? Beyond that, we completely believe in our values that politics and education should be separated. Is contrary. The Taiga portal reported that the city of Novosibirsk sent similar leaflets to real estate managers in the city, asking them to put them on bulletin boards, house doors and stairs. Kremlin plans to strengthen its army in January, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced a reform of the country's military. The aim is increase the army force by 350,000 soldiers from 1.15 million to 1.5 million, but experts consider it unrealistic to recruit so many soldiers in such a short time. The Kremlin has also proposed raising the military age, which is currently between 18 and 27, to between 21 and 30. Members of Russian State Duma, the country's lower parliament building, only want to raise upper age limit for now. This will increase pool of conscripts in the short term, with lower limit gradually increasing thereafter. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu plans to expand the country's military forces Russian Defense Ministry a picture alliance but Alexei Tabalov, a human rights activist and director of an organization that helps Russian conscripts, said this reform had nothing to do with the current spring draft. He believes that the draft for Russian military service was conducted according to the old rules. Sergei Kravenko, director of the Citizens Army Law Human Rights Group, agrees with Tabalov's assessment. This is, probably, the final or penultimate draft where only under 27s will be drafted. Shortly before spring draft, the Department of Defense launched a campaign urging men to join military forces as contract soldiers. According to human rights defenders, materials promoting such a step are sent along with the draft notices. Will conscripted soldiers be sent to Ukraine? Despite fact that Russian authorities have repeatedly stated that those who perform their mandatory temporary military service will not be sent to war in Ukraine, civilian reports to the contrary have repeatedly appeared in media. They state that family members are actually deployed to or very close to the conflict zone. A woman named Galina complained that she was threatened with being sent to the Belgorod region from Novosibirsk, where her son was doing his military service. Why be sent there after only three months of military service? The president ordered that no troops be sent to the war zone, he said. The fact that soldiers were sent conflict zone, despite Putin's statements to the contrary, 
is something Alexei Tabalov can confirm, we receive regular reports of conscripts being sent areas on Ukrainian border for military service. At the beginning of March 2022, Putin claimed that no soldiers would participate in the conflict in Ukraine. However, the Department of Defense quickly admitted that it had made a mistake and conceded that conscripts were indeed sent to the war zone. This was also confirmed by family members of Russian soldiers found on board the battleship Moskva, which sank by Ukrainian rocket fire in the Black Sea in April 2022. In recent months, it has emerged that conscripts have been ordered to dig trenches and trenches on the Ukrainian border. Many photos posted online by military forces confirm this. He fears that in the future there will be even more instances of conscripts forced to join the Russian military forces.